All right, I'm here to talk to you about Ghost Ship, which, there we go, up here, here. So, I was going to buy this film, I already bought it, uh, the previous one. I want to buy this one, and I noticed this set was basically uh, about the same price, but with three films instead of just this one on Blu-ray. I was like, well, yeah, I'm going to get this one. Um, and so, I watched that, yeah. Watch that, yeah. I think I have vague recollections. I may have seen pieces of that. Sure. We're, gonna, we're, we're definitely going to watch them at some point. But instead, we watched Ghost Chip. Mostly, my girlfriend wasn't going to be awake. She was like, watch this one. It's not very good. <laughs> She's like, not very good. And. I don't know if it, I went into it with very low expectations. I, I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, admittedly, because I recently watched Wasp. 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 I just like Wasp. Recently watched Waspnado, which is quite possibly one of the worst films I've seen. I still hate it. I'm still going to mention Waspnado every once in a while. It It is required. Uh, I think it's going to be my running joke now. I've just. Just subjecting people to watch Wasp Nado. I uh, honestly, I think, I think I should make that a thing. It's just the worst. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, yeah. But anyway, uh, enough about Wasp Nado. Let's talk about Ghost Ship. Ghost Ghost. I keep. I, la, 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 la. Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship. So, yeah, not knowing anything about this film, going into it, other than the title, which, yeah, Ghost Chip, and basically is this name, yeah, same. Uh, basically, it kind of starts off as like a kind of a historic title, because we get like a classic Warner Brothers logo, um, and it kind of gives you an intro of on the ship, and it's basically in the 60s, which is why they go with the classic Warner Brothers logo for the intro of the film, which more just threw me off when I watched it, uh, because I thought I'd put on the put in the wrong film. So originally, I, I did see there was a f 50s uh, movie with this title. Didn't realize it wasn't the same. Like I thought it was like, oh, is that the no no? It's just completely unrelated. Um. Completely unrelated film, but uh, uh that that confused me mostly. <laughs> I was later going, is this the right one? Did I put the right one in? The problem is also, uh, this is one of those Blu-rays that just instantly goes into it. So you're like, what happened? Is this is this it? No, okay, it just went straight into it. So I didn't even get to see like the, <laughs> you know, the star or anything to be like, oh okay, no, no this is the film from uh, early two thousand. Yeah, early 2000s. Uh, certainly a trip. Uh, certainly a trip. Uh, yeah, I did notice it's got, it's got negative reviews and apparently it was a commercial success. It was a budget of 20 million. But it doesn't look like it was... Like, I feel like that seemed quite low. It looks pretty good. Maybe that's that's the 2002 money. Yeah, inflation. So yeah, 20 million for as the budget. And I mean, it, yeah, probably didn't do enough to garner a sequel. But uh, uh, at least it wasn't a complete failure. So there's that. Um, oh, I did notice the director for this. Hasn't really done anything since this film. As far as I can tell, is just, just retired. I can't. I honestly can't see any anything about him since this. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, I just. I have no idea. I can't. Yeah, you know, there's no trivia. It just. Yeah, he just retired after this film. And I don't know what happened. Was it? I don't know if you, it was just like a tired of studio interference, I think. Because apparently this, the script was very different to what people signed on to 
from what I can see. Um, or at least what is it? What is Wikipedia? Um, apparently they changed a lot of it. And I, I'm gonna guess probably not for the better, because I think it kind of need it. Because they, but it said they changed this to more of a slasher, which yeah does very much get slasher vibes. Uh, whereas it should be more supernatural. You, it is supernatural, kinda. It's just ghosts. It's not like it's not really anything other than, other than that. Like, there's not really any many supernatural elements to it. Just the ghosts, me. So yeah, you have basically. You start off on the ship. Um, and basically see so everyone having a good old time. And then a whole bunch of people get killed. There's like a, a wire that goes through a whole a whole group of people dancing. And uh, yeah, they're all dead. But then we get our ragtag group of uh, just random people. All these random characters. Yeah, I didn't. So, does have a few people I recognize. Let me put, uh, put some information because I was like, oh, oh. Uh, so that's why I was kind of enjoying it a bit more because I was like, ah, it's you. You got uh, Juliana Mug Muggles, who's I watched a lot in The Good Wife. Uh, I love that show. I I still need to see I don't know if I finished The Good Fight. That's the sequel series. Anyway, directions. You got that. You've also got uh, Carl Urban in the film. Not pretty underused, just saying. Um, who else? Who else I recognise? Oh yeah, the um, is that guy? I'm just looking up, looking up names on yeah. So basically, the guy who uh, gives these this crew um, go to see this boat. Bye bye. Uh, Desmond Harrington, who I've seen in a f quite a few things, like uh, Dexter. Dexter. He plays a cop a lot of stuff, a lot of times. Yeah, Dexter. At least I think. I played him in Dexter. I feel like it's another thing. When he was in Sneaky Pete, I like Sneaky Pete. Sneaky Pete was good. Oh, and yeah, uh, Manhunt. Oh no, that's not the one I think. I was thinking of the Netflix show, but that's no. That's a huh. Watch that. Anyway, enough about me rambling. Yeah, this crew, they get a mission. Uh, go onto this ghost ship. Um, and like, yeah, go one up. Apparently there's gold there. I think, yeah, they, I think they know there's gold, although there's some salvage. I don't remember if they know about gold or they knew there was something there that's useful. Uh, yeah, they eventually convince him. Yeah, well, he convinces everyone to go with them. This ragtag group goes to the ghost boat. Um. Yeah, one thing I will say about this film, it looks great. Like. There are very few moments in this film I can fault. And the visual effects and... Well, not really visual effects, like the proper like set. Looks amazing. They shot, yeah, they shot, created a lot of sets for this movie. And they look great. Like, uh, that's why I'm surprised it was only 20 million. But again, I think that's... Yeah, 2002 money. So, yeah. It looks great. Like... I love the look of the sets, and they probably just, they have a lot of, they do a lot of small sets, so that I think they kind of cover it, because it's, you know, a big boat and everything, but they do a lot of very small sets most of the time, so they, I think that's how they kind of cover it, um, in a way, is to cover a, for, like, not a huge budget, but it, it looks great, like, it looks like a, a ship that's been... Yeah, out there for 40-odd years. 
you know, out in them, out in the elements. Um, basically, crew go to go exploring around the ship. And the first like bit where they're like, mm, "Hang on, what the fuck?" But they they don't really mention it to anyone. Like I feel like it's it, it's picked up on and then completely almost be immediately discarded. That they find like one of the fight guys finds like a digital watch. They're like, "What the hell?" But then I feel like it's kind of put into the background. Um, just just put in the background. Oh, well. and then yeah, basically, a whole bunch of the characters get killed. It's just some get visited by ghosts. There's a sexy ghost lady. There's a captain ghost who's just a drinker. And he takes over the cap their captain. Um. Yeah, basically, ghost shit happens. Everyone starts going a little bit mad. They also find the gold and go, GOLD! And they go, we're going to take the gold. Uh, and they basically try and figure out what's going on. Oh, and also there's a creepy ghost lady. Uh, so for a little, a little bit in the early bits, they just feel like a creepy ghost child who's trying to help them. Ah, but she can't because she's been cursed, so a lot of the ghosts are kind of controlled by this guy. Honestly, I just... I kind of forgot why this guy wants to collect. So he basically wants to collect souls. For reasons. I I looked at Wikipedia for us again because I was like, I'll double check it. Because he wants to drag them to hell for reasons. Uh, fucking no. <laughs> I looked at it I was like, is that what, that what it was? Really, you wanted souls. Uh, yeah. Ultimately, yeah, he doesn't doesn't get him. Basically, the guy is evil, but yeah, no, they kind of they kind of walk, walk, walk. oh not like they kind of he ends up dying, or kind of dying. No, he doesn't. He doesn't die. He's right at the end of the film. Um, whole ship gets blown up. Um, one main character survives because. She's a woman, and the, the she's the lead woman in a horror film, so of course she survives. That's just the rules. Very, very slasher vibes, like yeah, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm not Nightmare on Elm Street. You know, Nightmare on Elm Street, kind of, but more uh, Friday, Friday the Thirteenth, um, Halloween, that kind of. They're alive still. And then as she's been put in an ambulance, she just sees the guy going onto another boat. He's just like, no, I don't, oh, and he's gone. But yeah, it's sort of very unclear, his motivations. And I think from what I could see online, it was supposed to be more... I was says, the script was relatively bloodless, psychological thriller rather than supernatural horror film. So, yeah, I think it might have been more... Sounds like it's more like, ooh, should kill this guy, should kill this guy. Or, yeah. If people were going slightly mad or something. Um, rather than just, yeah, very slash vibes, which just doesn't fit. But, yeah, I mean, I said, I think the problem with the film is it's a bit, a bit boring, ultimately. And it's kind of a little bit poorly explained. Yeah, it's just a bit, a bit meh. I think there's a problem. It looks great. It looks great as a film. Just a bit meh. Bro. And, uh, yeah. Rather, rather a little bit disappointing. But, yeah, I think the problem is it's meh. Oh, and all the ghosts go to heaven after the boat is blown up. The guy doesn't get the souls. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, it's a bit meh. Oh, I, well, I, not one I'm gonna go back, come back to at any point. Um, really not, not a favorite of mine. Did you watch it? Nah, not really. I don't think it's worth watching, honestly. It looks cool. Uh, as so if you want to do, some, yeah, if you want to see some, like just dilapidated uh, ships and stuff, you might like that kind of stuff. Other than that. Eh. I don't recommend it really. I think it's a bit. Eh. 
yeah, that is Ghost Ship. Um, so when I was doing this uh, a couple of days ago, I wanted to do do water-based horror films. So I was like trying to figure out what I got, what what I've got to do. So I was like, I'm gonna do a Jurassic Shark. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be an interesting one. Very interesting. But for now, I say, live long and prosper. And we'll see you next time for more. Um, yeah, Jurassic Shark. I just said it. Well, odd. Uh. <laughs>